Hi guys, I'm Mark the Hammer Castanini. Today we're going to be doing some hammers at home technique development. All right, guys, we move on. So let's get uh, our next requirements or a couple of different punch uh, variations or techniques for you guys to try out at home. So obviously, most of you guys will be familiar with the jab and the cross. So breaking it down, just recap on that. The jab, think about your hand being on a zip line, out and back. So what I don't want to see is out and down, head exposed. When you jab, center line, Shoulders up, chin down, hitting with the two lead knuckles. So palm in, rotate, palm down, knuckles forward and back. Snappy jab, out and back. Zip line it, one, two, one, two. So there's your jab, right cross. For me, the power comes from here, not from here. You've got to generate that forward power. So the power's got to come from the base, through the hip, shoulder and out. Okay, so keeping your back foot flat and punching, you're really robbing yourself of some vital power that you, you need. So let's, have a, let's just have a, a touch up on that right cross. Remember, as your right goes out, your left comes back. The, or as your rear goes out, your lead's got to come back for you southpaw. So from here, looking at my foot, looking at my knee, hip and shoulder, all rotating in unison. So from here, I lift, launch and rotate and come back, and rotate, and come back. Same, straight out, straight back. Put it together, pick a spot, hit that spot. Jab, reach, cross, roll. So reach and roll. Reach, roll, reach, roll, okay? Challenge yourself by putting it in with a, with a step up or a forward step. So I step and jab, step and jab, step and jab, real basic, okay? Step and jab, plant, right, cross, and back. Step and jab, plant, right, cross, and back. Make sure that power is employed. Up and back. One, two, and back. One, two, and back. One, two, and back. Okay, so that's your basic straight punches. Lock it away. Do it 100 times if you have to. Remember for me, you know, um, people say practice makes perfect. That's incorrect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Because if you're going to do something over and over incorrectly, you practice it wrong, you'll do it wrong. So practice, perfect practice makes perfect. So make sure quality over quantity. No use going blasting away. You've got the rocky music on in a garage and you're doing crap. Nice. Everything placed. Get that body and those muscles uh, programmed to doing everything correctly to the T. Okay? So we move on now, and we're gonna have a bit of a look at the hooks. A lot of different theories with hooks. Some people say palm in, some people say palm down. To me, you know, my, my uh, uh, late bro boxing coach was one of the greats here in Melbourne. He said, think about slapping someone in the face. It's that sort of uh, body biomechanics, okay? So for here, you've got three ranges of hooks too. If you're in tight, you've got a close hook, you've got a mid range, and then you've got a long hook or a leaping left hook, okay? Which might be left hook, low kick. You know, you might use it to set up another technique. It could come off a right cross. So throw a long right. And if I'm hitting here, that's where, and I'm gonna throw a hook after that, well, obviously it's gonna be a, a long hook. So cross, hook, leg kick, okay? So there's ranges of hooks. And for me, I like to have my palm in yeah? Because if you're going to push something across, you don't turn your arm that way. So think about employing the muscle groups that are going to give you the optimal strength and drive through your technique. Yeah? So you have to make sure that if I'm going to push something that way, I'm not pushing like that. I'm getting my back, my lats, my traps, my shoulders all behind it. You know? I'm pushing that way. So that's generating power. If I'm moving a big object, 
I have, to, I have to lock my body, engage my core, and rotate correctly. So I take that principle one step further, and I'm like, well, if I want to punch, I need to employ the same or the maximum amount of, of activated muscle groups to give me base, balance, and power. Let's say it again, base, balance, and power. And then you put mobility in on that as you flow. But when you're throwing, base, balance, power, move. Base, balance, power, move. Okay, so let's think about that principle a little. So with the hook from here, if it's a lead hook, elevate the elbow, lift, launch, rotate, and snap it out. Again, slight twist. So think round elbow, and that's the reason why I teach pretty much from your first lesson, the roundhouse elbow, because it sets up the learning for the hooks. Okay, so the biomechanics of a round elbow, which is lift, launch, rotate, that's our roundhouse elbow. Now look, let's look at the hook. Everything's the same, just my hand placement's different. Elbow tight, hook opened. Hook punch, if I, if I can show you that angle, yeah, that's what I'm hooking. Now let's have a look at the angle of the elbow. So everything is the same. So for you guys that are wanting to perfect your hooks, think round elbow, with a slightly different arm placement, okay? And mix it up. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Real basic one, do it with a step up, step, jab, cross, hook, cross, step back. One, two, three, four, and back. In, one, two, three, four, and back. All right, have a play with that, guys, good luck. Mm-hmm. <laughs>